Welcome back to Finance Homefront. Thanks for tuning in today. If you find our content insightful, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Remember, while we dive deep into the latest financial topics, I'm not here to offer financial advice. So sit back as we explore the impact of the cryptocurrency industry's latest moves in the political arena and what it could mean for the future of finance. Let's get started. A prominent pro-cryptocurrency political action group has strategically funneled a substantial sum into the fiercely contested Senate races in Michigan and Arizona, creating a significant rift within the Republican Party. This move, aimed at bolstering Democratic candidates against rivals endorsed by former President Donald Trump, has deeply frustrated leading Republicans who had previously considered the cryptocurrency industry as an ally rather than an adversary. The political landscape is shifting as Fairshake PAC, along with its associated super PACs, prepares to allocate millions of dollars in advertising expenditures to sway the outcomes of three crucial U.S. Senate races this electoral cycle. The group has publicly committed approximately $3 million each to support Democratic representatives Ruben Gallego in Arizona and Alyssa Slotkin in Michigan, according to a statement released on Wednesday. This aggressive financial backing threatens to disrupt Republican efforts to secure key Senate seats in these battleground states. It also comes at a time when leading Republicans, already contending with an unfavorable regulatory climate, have been leveraging their political influence to forge stronger relationships with the cryptocurrency sector. When approached for comment, representatives from Fairshake pointed to the high ratings that both Slotkin and Gallego currently enjoy from Stand With Crypto, a nonprofit organization advocating for the interests of the cryptocurrency industry. Both Democratic candidates have crossed party lines this year to support groundbreaking legislation favorable to cryptocurrency. For years, Slotkin had maintained a skeptical stance toward cryptocurrencies, a position that only recently shifted. As recently as March, the Michigan lawmaker had earned a failing grade from Stand With Crypto. However, her recent change in position has garnered significant attention. Similarly, Gallego, who faces off against Republican Kari Lake, had previously refrained from supporting legislation favored by the cryptocurrency sector. In fact, in 2022, Gallego had even taken to social media to praise a candidate who had slayed the crypto beast. Last year, he signed a letter spearheaded by Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts, advocating for reforms to address crypto-financed initiatives. Gallego credited Warren as an outspoken advocate for regulation and oversight of crypto. He has also publicly criticized business leaders such as Elon Musk for promoting Bitcoin and profiting from cryptocurrencies. Additionally, he had previously supported legislation perceived as antagonistic by the cryptocurrency industry. On the other hand, Carrie Lake has earned an A rating from Stand With Crypto, recognizing her strong pro-crypto stance and her vocal support for the industry. Josh Vlasto, a spokesperson for Fairshake, stated in a public release that the Super PAC and its affiliates are dedicated to supporting candidates who embrace innovation, aim to protect American jobs, and are committed to working across party lines to achieve results while opposing those who do not. The cryptocurrency industry and its aligned super PACs have amassed a staggering sum exceeding $100 million to influence the outcomes of House and Senate races. This monumental financial effort aims to create a regulatory environment favorable to the industry by supporting candidates sympathetic to cryptocurrency. For example, in Ohio alone, the group has earmarked $12 million in support of a Republican Senate candidate challenging Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown, who chairs the influential Committee on Banking, Housing, and Urban Affairs and is seen by industry proponents as a crypto skeptic. Fair Shake PAC stands as the leading political action committee funded by digital asset firms with its most significant contributions stemming from a small group of influential donors. These donors include the blockchain company Ripple, 
individuals connected to the venture capital firm Andreessen Horowitz, and Coinbase, the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the United States. Republican strategists advocating for cryptocurrency argue that the sector represents a growth industry that the party has embraced for valid reasons. They believe that these efforts will yield long-term benefits. The world has evolved since Trump's first term, said Matt Makowiak, a GOP strategist based in Austin, Texas. The more astute Republicans have recognized the opportunity and have moved toward it. It offers multiple advantages. It provides a source of fundraising, it attracts votes from younger demographics, and it positions Republicans as the party of the future. However, simmering tensions are now coming to the surface as concerned Republicans cast a wary eye on Fairshake, its associated super PACs and its top supporters. They warn that these groups risk alienating Republicans after years of cultivating relationships within the party. Additionally, there are growing doubts about the longevity of Gallego and Slotkin's support for the cryptocurrency sector. This situation is reminiscent of when the Chamber of Commerce supported a group of anti-business house Democrats who then turned around and passed significant tax increases on businesses through the so-called Inflation Reduction Act, said a senior GOP Senate aide. Now, the Chamber of Commerce can't even get a meeting with House Republican leadership to discuss their priorities. In recent years, the relationship between congressional Republicans and the Chamber of Commerce has been strained, as the business lobbying group grew increasingly frustrated with Republicans for failing to support immigration reforms and halt Trump's tariffs. Both positions were viewed as detrimental to American business interests. The Chamber of Commerce's subsequent willingness to back Democrats, a move unthinkable during the Obama era, infuriated many Republicans on Capitol Hill. The aide continued, it is surprising that whoever is advising Fairshake has devised a similarly flawed strategy. Another GOP strategist involved in Senate races expressed concern that the spending could inadvertently harm Trump, as his allies are now under attack. Coinbase and Fairshake are on the verge of becoming toxic to Republicans. By spending against two key GOP candidates, they could jeopardize the Senate and damage Trump, said the source who requested anonymity to avoid preempting the former president. Gallego and Slotkin have both voted against Bitcoin interests and would likely vote to confirm a far-left SEC chairman. It makes no sense. The controversial spending was a major topic of discussion as Republicans convened in Jackson Hole this week. Among those in attendance were Mark Andreessen and representatives from Coinbase and other crypto groups. These influential figures gathered to participate in consecutive retreats hosted by the Congressional Leadership Fund Super PAC and House Speaker Mike Johnson of Louisiana. Andreessen and his business partner, Ben Horowitz, have publicly endorsed Trump in the presidential race and have been vocal critics of the Biden-Harris administration's regulatory agenda, including the proposal to tax unrealized capital gains. Together, Andreessen and Horowitz rank among Fairshake's most significant contributors. Republicans are scratching their heads over what's happening with Fair Shake, and I think that's a pretty bad omen for the industry, said one industry leader who spoke on the condition of anonymity. People are walking around the CLF conference in disbelief that this is the strategic chess move the industry has made. A prominent member of Trump's inner circle likened Fair Shake's support for certain candidates to a pro-Israel group giving money to the squad. A source familiar with the comments who was not authorized to speak publicly, indicated that the comparison suggests Fairshake is backing a group that is fundamentally opposed to its interests. Trump himself has pledged to implement crypto-friendly policies if elected, marking a significant shift from his previous stance. During his time in the White House, Trump had criticized Bitcoin as highly volatile and based on thin air. However, his campaign now accepts Bitcoin donations and his selection of running mate, J.D. Vance, was seen as a victory for the industry. Vance has called for reduced regulation of cryptocurrencies and disclosed that he holds between $250,000 to $500,000 worth of Bitcoin among his assets. Makowiak explained that this shift in stance is partly generational, 
with Vance being credited with persuading a group of Silicon Valley investors to host Trump on their popular podcast and organize a San Francisco fundraiser that generated millions of dollars. A former Trump administration regulator suggested that a future Trump presidency would likely adopt a more nuanced approach to regulation concerning cryptocurrencies. However, they also noted that a regulatory shift is expected regardless of who wins the presidential election. It'll just happen more quickly under a Trump administration, the former regulator said. Since taking over as the Democratic Party's nominee, Vice President Kamala Harris has initiated efforts to reset relations with the cryptocurrency industry. Executives from Coinbase, Ripple, and Kraken have reportedly voiced their concerns to the White House during a Zoom call, according to a Bloomberg report. Democrats have launched a Crypto for Harris group aimed at formalizing the industry's ties to the vice president's campaign. Harris's top surrogates have also indicated that a Harris administration would offer a more business-friendly regulatory framework compared to the Biden administration. Maryland Governor Wes Moore recently stated during an interview on CNBC that Harris would likely create a regulatory environment more favorable to the cryptocurrency industry. Despite these efforts, many remain skeptical. The big political question here is whether Harris can convince industry supporters that she has genuinely reversed her position or if it's just rhetoric, said the former regulator, because they won't believe she'll cross Elizabeth Warren. The landscape of political support for the cryptocurrency industry is complex and rapidly evolving, as evidenced by these developments. The actions of Fairshake PAC and its affiliates have set off a wave of speculation, concern, and strategic recalibration within both the Republican Party and the broader cryptocurrency community. As the Senate races in Michigan and Arizona heat up, the impact of these financial maneuvers will likely be closely watched, not only by the candidates themselves, but also by the broader political and financial sectors. Whether these actions will ultimately benefit or harm the cryptocurrency industry's long-term objectives remains to be seen. But what is clear is that the intersection of politics and cryptocurrency is becoming an increasingly contentious and influential battleground. Thanks for sticking around until the end of today's video on the intriguing intersection of cryptocurrency and politics. It's clear that the dynamics are shifting and these developments could have far-reaching implications for both the industry and the broader financial landscape. If you enjoyed this deep dive, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Finance Home Front so you don't miss out on our upcoming content. And as always, remember that this video is for informational purposes only. I'm not offering financial advice. Until next time, stay informed and take care.